High Seas is the Hawaii Space Exploration Analog and Simulation. And this mission is a 120 day mission on the slopes of Mauna Loa that's going to be testing the psychology and group dynamics and team cohesion of astronauts in a Martian habitat. Throughout my academic career, I've been making decisions that would ultimately leave the door open when an astronaut selection might take place with the Canadian Space Agency. My studies are condensed matter physics, where I study nanoscale silicon, and I'm really interested in the high seas program because it means once I graduate here, it'll be a very nice next step into the space sciences for me. The high seas habitat is actually simulating as much as you can about Mars. We can't obviously change gravity on Earth, but there are a number of other things that they're trying to maintain with as much similarity as they can to the Martian environment. So for one, we're maintaining a pressure seal inside the habitat. And part of that pressure seal means that when we go outside, we have to be wearing so-called pressurized spacesuits. So the dome itself is 36 feet in diameter, so about 10 meters in diameter which amounts to about a thousand square feet on the main floor. And that main floor has a kitchen, a bathroom, and a workspace and some living space. It also has a smaller second floor with about 600 square feet. And that is gonna be reserved for the crew quarters and our sleeping space. 120 days is a long time to spend inside a, of a small room. I am just kind of coming to terms now with what it will mean you kind of have two extremes, right? You are isolated from the entire world for that 120 days, but you're also closer than you've ever been to five other people. So on the one hand, you've got loneliness, and on the other hand, you've got this close confinement with others. All of us are gonna be participating in the primary study, and that means filling out surveys and psychological tests about how we're feeling over the course of the entire mission. But we also have individual opp opportunistic research. And the research that I'm gonna be conducting while we're in the dome is a 3D printed tools project where we're going to be evaluating the difference between a 3D printed surgical instrument and a regular stainless steel surgical instrument. Last astronaut selections took place in 2011 or 12 and I'm hoping that if that door opens again then this experience is going to be a big plus on my resume.